the following past paper question reads that why is the second ionization energy of sodium larger than the second ionization energy of magnesium so i'm going to draw the two atoms now so i've drawn both atoms and uh, remember we're talking about the second ionization energy so for example in sodium if i if i'm uh, removing the first electron that's the first ionization energy so i've gotten rid of this first electron and if i'm trying to remove the second electron the second electron would be removed from an inner shell whereas in magnesium if i'm removing the uh, second electron the first this is the first ionization energy and the second electron would also be removed from the outermost shell so the second ionization energy of magnesium would not be very large because magnesium has two electrons in its, in its outermost shell so if you're removing the second electron the second electron would also be removed from the outermost shell so the electron would be very far from the nucleus and it would be well shielded as well so the attraction of the nucleus for that electron would be very weak but in the case of sodium Removing the second electron, the second electron is uh, in, a, in an inner shell. It's closer to the nucleus, the distance is, uh, is closer and the shielding effect is lesser. So the attraction for this second electron would be very, very large. So the reason why sodium is going to have a very high second ionization energy compared to magnesium is because you're removing an electron from an inner shell. So I'm going to look at the options now. The attraction between the nucleus and the outer electron is greater in Na+. Plus then in mg plus now this first statement looks perfectly correct because the second electron is very close to the nucleus so the attraction between the nucleus and the outer electron is going to be greater so this statement looks perfectly all right let's look at the other options as well and see whether they are incorrect the nuclear charge of na plus is greater than mg plus which is not true because the nucleus of na has 11 protons whereas the nucleus of mg has 12 protons so the attraction for uh, by the nucleus uh, of mg is going to be greater but since the electron is further away from the nucleus uh, it would be easier to actually remove this electron so the second option is incorrect let's look at the other option the outer electron of na plus is more shielded than the outer electron of mg plus now Na plus means that this outer shell is gone. It has lost one electron. So this is your inner shell. These electrons would be less shielded. They would be closer to the nucleus. So the shielding is going to be lesser, not more shielded, but less shielded. Whereas Mg plus, you got rid of this electron. Now you have this electron. This is your outermost electron. So the number of shells are exactly the same. It's more shielded. So this statement is incorrect. Na plus is going to be less shielded. And the last one is that the outer electron of Na is in the same orbital as the outer electron of Mg, which is incorrect. Mg, it's uh, the outermost shell. It's the third shell. The electron belongs to the third shell, whereas in Na, the electron belongs to the second shell. This is the electron you're removing when you're talking about the second ionize ionization energy. So the fourth uh, option, option D, is also incorrect, which leaves us with option A, which was already marked as correct.